Ron here, I live in Saudi Arabia, studying 10th grade in Yarmouk International School. So solving trigonometric equation is precisely the same concept as solving equations from past. That is the reason some variables we have in uh, trigonometric functions are involving, such as looking for values and values the variable varies. Okay? So if we take an example that says 2 sine of x minus 1 is equal to 1, the first step you do plug this one over here that would become positive one and you end up with 2 sine x is equal to 1 now you, all you need to do is divide by 2 on both sides that would give you sine of x is equal to 1 half and we already know that by using something like this the sine of 1 half sine sine of x is equal to 1 half that basically where is 30 degrees triangle okay so 1 over this would be 2 over here Oops. so the angle you get would be x is equal to 30 degrees or pi over c radians now let's go ahead and take a quadratic equation okay erase this out and let's go ahead and take quadratic equation so the quadratic equation that we are taking is cosecant okay square x minus 2 is equal to 0 now you know the first thing to do is basically put this 0 uh, 2 over here shift it so this would be co cosecant squared x is equal to 2 now radical both sides by cosecant squared x is equal to radical 2 this would cancel with this one leaving you cosecant x is equal to plus or minus radical 2 okay now all you need to do is what is the cosecant of plus or minus 2 over 1 that basically x would be equal to pi over 4 radians Okay, now because let's now let's illustrate this by a circle that for cosecant, if you were to have something which goes like this over here, you would have pi over four over here, some theta. Then we would have the same thing right here involving. over here okay this over here from this point to this point it would be 3 pi over 4 from that point to this point it would be 5 pi over 4 from this point to this point it would be uh, 6, 7, 7 pi over 4 so the thing over here that we want to notice now it turns out that this is, that in this situation over here we don't need to write 3 pi over 4 x n plus 2 pi and things like that because we didn't we did that in past so why is that it's because because we have pi over 2 as the distance from distance from each other okay that would basically means that, that we found out the x was pi over, pi over 4 right so since it was x equals pi over 4 we can also write that as in the distance every single time pi over 4 is what we found and then the nth value of the distance which is pi over 2 okay now we already have seen two previous examples that one example was sort of first degree equation and the second one was second degree equation which was also introduced as a quadratic equation and we had a kind of relate, related ideas back to previous experience and it turns out that there's lots of difference that trick uh, trick equation can have important 
is that to get in our heads and straight strategies for solutions by looking at the form of equation. Every form has different strategies. For example, this form over here that we'll take This form over here that we'll take is 3 sine squared x is equal to cosine of x. Basically, the first thing you need to do is basically uh, sine squared x would basically turn out to be um, you divide cosine squared x on both sides. That would basically be uh, squared x divided by cosine squared x, cosine squared x over cosine squared x, leaving you 1 over here, cancel this out, now this would be 3 times sine squared x over cosine squared x, okay, leaving you 1, this would be tangent squared x, okay, so we can just write this, the whole thing as 3 tangent squared x, is equal to 1 divided by 3 on both sides leaving your tangent squared x is equal to 1 over 3 okay now square root both sides okay let me just go ahead and erase this part first two steps right here this would be let's write it down again tangent squared x is equal to 1 over 3 square root on both sides tangent squared x is equal to square root of 1 over 3 then 2 cancels out leaving your tangent x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 3 okay which so this is how you end up with the answer like this at the end of the day you found your answer that is tangent of x would be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 3 okay so we will find x x to be pi over 6 or we would find it because there's one more thing I need to add to this the first step is done over here the x would be pi over 6 which is basically 30 degrees of tangent okay now the second step is to use put this or plot this into um, plot this over here into a triangle a right triangle that we said this one three if it's 30 degrees okay one over three would be that one so this one would be pi over 6 right here okay now if you were to graph the tangent form it would basically be the plus sign would be here minus plus minus and then you form angles right here okay and every point first it's on pi over 6 then you move on to the next one and to the next one, which basically equals out as if you have x equals pi over 6 plus n pi. You move every pi distance. But basically it's the 90 degree. You make a 90 degree angle right here. From this to this, if you have as 10 degrees, let's say. Okay, this pi over 6 would be 30 degrees. So the, to find the next location, you add 90 to it. 120 would be the right here, 120. So then you add 120 to 90 and get the third location and so on from there. So it would be the n distance time, uh, times the pi. Now let's go ahead and look at our last example. If it says, gives you an equality, that x lies between 0 and 2 pi, which is 360, 2 pi. So, 
we can, and the equation that comes up with this would be 2 sine squared x is equal to 2 plus cosine of x. Now this is an equation because we have an equality over here. Now we can write sine squared x as also saying uh, 1 minus cosine squared x, right? And you have 2 plus cosine x. Since this is cosine squared x, take it out, um, multiply it, okay, that would be 2, then minus 2 cosine squared x is equal to 2 plus cosine of x, right? That basically will equal out as, if you take this over here or plug this here, the whole equation would be 0, make it equal to 0, so 0 is equal to 2 plus cosine of x right here, then plug this in, that would basically be minus 2 cosine of x, okay, that's basically it, so then you, you plug this over here, it would become minus 2, now plus 2 goes up with minus 2 over here, that would leave you to something that says something that says 0 is equal to cosine and make it uh, make it factorize it so cosine of x is equal to 2 cosine of x plus 1 okay now what we need to do is find the zeros of this terms so cosine what what replaces the value of x when the whole equation goes out to 0 so for this value it would be pi over 2, if you know the function of cosine, pi over 2, and then it will be 3 pi over 2. So that's the value of x. Now for this one, to make it equal to 0, it would be 2 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, or 4 pi over 3. So we found out fourth zeros function of this graph over here and x can lie between this one and it, it, it does lie between this one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like comment down below if you can and subscribe it would be uh, really awesome but the thing most important thing what i want you guys to do is that there is a facebook page down below in the description area click on that click the like button tell your friends to click the like button as well thank you for watching as always peace out